Hello. Welcome to another video. In this video well, I am going to talk about encryption. Encryption is used primarily to protect data in case it has been hacked. Suppose that user A want to send a confidential data to user B. This data is sending without any encryption. So, if the data is hacked the hacker can find out the details in the data easily. At the same time encryption won't prevent hacking, it makes the data meaningless unless the recipient has the necessary decryption tools. The normal representation of data before it goes through an encryption algorithm is known as plain text, and the output of data after encryption is known as cipher text. So cipher text is meaningless data, so hackers can't identify the actual meaning of the data. There are two types of encryption, symmetric encryption and asymmetric or public key encryption. In symmetric encryption, the same key is used to encrypt and decrypt the message. This means that two people with the key can share messages. The problem with this method is that anyone who obtains the key can encrypt or decrypt a message. This key could be intercepted by a hacker which puts the security of the encrypted message at risk. This situation is referred to as the key distribution problem. So once the key is received, hackers can easily identify the data after decryption. To avoid the risk surrounding symmetric encryption keys, we can use asymmetric encryption. Asymmetric encryption uses two keys that work as a pair. The first key is used to encrypt the message. A message encrypted with the first key cannot be decrypted with that same key. It can only be decrypted with the second key. Similarly, a message encrypted with the second key can only be decrypted with the first key. The first key can be sent to anyone from whom the user wants to receive an encrypted message. Dot as a result, this key is called a public key. The second key is kept secret by the user so that only they know it. As a result, this key is called a private key. As long as the private key is kept secret, the encryption is extremely difficult to break. Okay, next we can check how is asymmetric encryption used to send private message. For example, Alice wants to send a private message to Bob. First, Alice applies her private key to encrypt the message. Then, the private key is then encrypted using the public key known to both Alice and Bob. Then, Alice sends the message over the internet. Now, Bob decrypts the symmetric key by applying his own private key. The decoded private key is now used to decrypt the message sent by Alice. Now, let us discuss the differences between these encryptions. The basic difference between these two types of encryption is that symmetric encryption uses one key for both encryption and decryption, and the asymmetric encryption uses public key and private key. Asymmetric encryption is considered to be more secure than symmetric encryption as it uses two keys for the process. Because the algorithm behind symmetric encryption is less complex and executes faster, this is the preferred technique when transmitting data in bulk. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe our channel.